What's up, tech fans? Once again, rumors of new cards are starting to come out. And the first one is coming out of Camp NVIDIA. And this is the Lovelace AD102. Now, what exactly is a Lovelace AD102? Well, a lot of people are speculating that it's going to be a 4090 Ti. Hmm, not really sure about that. What I'm thinking is it's going to be something totally different that we haven't seen yet, but will it even be stock or is this just another project deep throat? Are you looking for a code for your favorite game or maybe you need a new Windows 10 key but don't want to spend a lot of money? Here's your chance to get the best deals online at CD Key Sales. Game codes are as low as $10 and Windows keys are under $15. And right now you can save an additional 18% by using the code TT18 during checkout. Buying has also never been easier. Just create your account, select the items that you want, put in the discount code and complete checkout. All of your purchases will be in your account ASAP and all the keys and codes are guaranteed to authorize without a problem. So save big today and buy with confidence with CD Key Sales. Okay, so like I said, Rumors have started coming out. Video Cards once again has released some screenshots with some rumor tech coming out. Many times these rumors do pan out to be true in many ways. Are they exactly what things are? Not always, but they're really close. Now, the thing is though, is a lot of people are speculating right now, is this going to be a 4090 Ti card? And I'm going to say right off the bat that regardless of what these leaked specs are, I do not think it's going to be a 4090 Ti in any way, shape, form, color, nothing like that whatsoever. For one thing, the 3090, you know, that is just, you know, it's, it's a new card. NVIDIA at this point is not going to want to release a card on their top end to push the other top end cards down. So. Whatever the rumors are, I'm just going to, you know, quell it right here at the beginning before we get any further. And I do not think this is going to be a gaming card. However, I do think it's probably going to be either a new Tesla card, maybe some kind of new Quadro card. It's going to definitely be something extremely high end because a lot of the specs and stuff on it are really pretty crazy. For one thing, it's supposed to be based on the Samsung 5 nanometer process. So that'll make it pretty much the smallest process video card, you know, on the entire market. AMD doesn't have that. Intel doesn't have that. Hey, even the silicone over at Apple doesn't have that. But, you know, there are a lot of different specs about this card. So let's talk about them. Like I said, the card is called the Lovelace AD102. Five nanometer Samsung process. It's going to have 12 GPCs or graphic processing clusters. 72 TPCs or texture processing clusters, 144 streaming multiprocessors. Now it's going to have some different types of CUDA cores. These are FP32 CUDA cores, and it says it's going to have 18,432 of them. 18,432 CUDA cores. Holy crap, Batman! It's also speculated that the card is going to be using GDDR6X memory. How much exactly memory is going to be in it? That's still in speculation. It's going to feature a 384-bit memory processor. And honestly, um, the teraflop rumors about this are just crazy. If it's going to be that powerful, I couldn't really even see this card being anywhere near on the gaming budget. So let's go from there. Those are the specs that Video Cards has released. And honestly, the specs sound killer, but those specs don't sound anything to me like a gaming card. For one thing, a card with that much hardware built under the hood, I mean, people were complaining about the $1,500 for the other card. I mean, are you gonna wanna spend five to $10,000 on a new video card for your gaming system? Because honestly, with those kind of specs, I mean, hey, it should do 4K at 120 frames per second. No problem, baby, right? But honestly, I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, a lot of the specs are kind of interesting. 
Um, I'll have to do some research and find out exactly what you know all these new types of CUDA cores and new types of clusters are. Um, I haven't really tested any cards for like the workstation or, or totally professional environment in quite a while. Um, even though Nvidia said you know the 3090 wasn't a gaming card, everybody out there who tested the damn thing tested it pretty much in gaming, and not very many people did much else with it. I'm sure there are some people out there who did do editing and stuff like that on it, and there are a lot of people who probably use broadcast on it and stuff like that. Because honestly, I think broadcast is just really cool. I still haven't had a chance to use it, and I want to. Just I haven't been streaming games in a long time doing that stuff. So, but the whole concept behind it, I really like. So. Will we see a 4090 Ti? I would say chances are between slim, slim to none, and when hell freezes over. Just my opinion, but that's what I'm thinking. With these kind of specs and this kind of price that that card's gonna have to have to carry those kind of specs, I don't see really your average gamer being able to afford one. Now, sure, if Elon Musk wanted to do some gaming, you know, or maybe Dr. Dre wanted to do some gaming, or, you know, Bono from YouTube, you know, or Oprah, any of those super rich people, they want to play games, sure, they can afford to buy a $10,000 gaming card, even if it's not really meant for gaming, just for bragging rights. All right, so there you guys have it. Lovelace. Now let's just talk about that real quick before we go. To if you guys haven't heard that name, Linda Lovelace, back in the day, was like the biggest porn star. And let me tell you guys, talk about a girl who could appreciate a 10-inch card. This was the girl. This is the girl who took all of John Holmes down her lovely little throat, hence the movie Deep Throat. So when I hear Lovelace, 8102, haha, <laughs> I'm definitely thinking, you know, this is just another project, Deep Throat. And the biggest question, I guess, at the end of the day is, will Midi even have any stock about this stuff? I'll have a link down below, so if you guys want to check out more information about this card over on Video Cards and check that out, I will have that as well. I'm Elric. You've been watching Tekken Tomorrow. Like I said, these specs look killer. I do not think it's a 4090 Ti. I think it's going to be something way bigger, way better, and definitely not meant for your average gaming Joe. Hey, if you like what you've seen, you want to be subbed, hey, hit that subscribe button, but also hit the notifications bell, or you will never know that I am making videos here on Tech of Tomorrow. Also, you want to support the channel? You don't have any money? Lots of ways to do it. You can either subscribe and try Amazon Prime for free for 30 days, or that ad I ran in the beginning, use the code TT18, save yourself some additional money. I've got a new ad coming out next year with some different pricing, so that should be interesting. But for now, if you want to save money, hey, those are your ways to do it. TT18, when you do check out, it'll save you guys almost an additional 20%. So peace out. We'll see you guys back here. There's really only one more day left in this month. So tomorrow I'll be doing my uh, 2020 Revisited. <gasps> the horror, the shame, the sarcasm. It'll all be there. So see you there.